leading advocate of Nigeria and human rights activist Femi Falano has said that in line with the provisions of the constitution, President Mohamed Buhari should ban military deployments from internal operations, including protests and rallies. He added that such civilian demonstrations and protests as well as political rallies fall under activities meant for the police. Falano stated this at a convocation lecture he delivered at the Ikiti State University convocation ceremony, noting that to prevent hoodlums from hijacking peaceful protests, rallies and matches, the police must provide adequate security. He said, a few days ago, President Mohamed Bari publicly acknowledged that aggrieved citizens have the right, fundamental right to exercise their freedom of expression through peaceful rallies, matches and protests. The position of the president is backed by the provisions of Section 39 of the Constitution and Article 9 of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights Ratification and Enforcement Act. However, the president warned hoodlums not to hijack such protests, but to the utter embarrassment of the federal government, some commissioners of police announced a ban on protests and any other form of public meeting in many states. It is high time the attention of such police authorities was drawn to the case of all the Nigeria People's Party. Inspector General of Police 2006 CHR 181. In that case, the presiding judge Chikiri declared police permits for rallies illegal and unconstitutional and proceeded to grant an order of perpetual injunction restraining the defendant, Inspector General of Police, whether by himself, his agents, and previous from preventing the plaintiffs and other aggrieved citizens from organizing or convening convening peaceful assemblies, meetings, and rallies. In affirming the epochal judgment of the Federal High Court in the case of Inspector General of Police versus All Nigeria People's Party 2008-12-WRN-65, the Court of Appeal per Adekeye, Adekeye, JCA, as she then was head initial halia. The rights to demonstrate and the right to protest on matters of public concern are rights which are in the public interest and that which individual must possess and which they should exercise without impediment as long as no wrongful act is done. If as speculated by law enforcement agents that breach the breach of the peace would occur, a criminal code has made adequate provisions for sanctions against breakdown of law and order so that the requirements of permits as a contra as, as a conditionality to holding meetings and rallies can no longer be justified in a democratic society in view of the clear state of the law the president should without any further delay prohibit armed soldiers and usurping the powers of the from usurping the powers of the police by getting involved in the maintenance of internal security in any manner whosoever whatsoever and however however to prevent hoodlums from hijacking peaceful protests rallies and marches we call on the president to direct the inspector general of police and commissioners of police in all the states of the federation to comply with section 94 of the electoral act 2010 as amended which provides as follows notwithstanding any provision in the police act the Public Order Act and any regulation made there made there under or any other law to the contrary. The role of the Nigeria police force in political rallies, processions, and meetings shall be limited to the provisions of adequate security as provided in sections one of this section. Hmm. All this on Awibo. <laughs> you are telling Buhari to do this. You want to tell us that they don't know. Let's <laughs> You are speaking politically correct. You are t speaking according to constitution. You want to tell us they don't know about the constitution that they always turn around. No, they know everything. It's a deliberate act. The law that you are quoting or the constitution you are quoting, you think they don't know. They are aware. It's a deliberate act. They know what they are doing. The poverty we are facing with today, 
in the country you think is a is a is a natural one. It's a man made. Man made uh 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 wahala here and there. <laughs> well to me, no southerner should partake in any protest of any form because some myopic northerners see it as being against them and their clueless son Buhari. The insecurity is for them, not for us, and they like it, so we shouldn't cry more than they bereaved. Every protest are coming and it will cripple the nation. So all measures to ensure a heat free protest must be in place. Nigeria has no leader. Thus everything is in disarray and we cannot keep quiet. Those citizens should give notice of the organization to the traffic so that traffic can be diverted to go around the said event, not on the government property without an authorized permit. Citizens should be able to obtain all criminal and non-criminal activities of who each individual police officer on the force. The police works to the citizens or works for the citizens, all Nigerians land base. Citizens should be able to assemble without police interference. The citizens should have a free speech under the constitution. The militarization of the democratic system by the evil leaders is a deliberate attempt to keep the citizen in a state of fear and intimidation which cannot be called a democracy. It's a deliberate act. You think they don't know the law. They know the law. And they will use the military or the soldiers to intimidate you so that you not you not talk. You not even you not even have a breathing space to even be quoting law. To be quoting the constitution. You even forget the constitution. That is just what they do. It's a deliberate act. Buhari's cantonment approach to every topical issue in Nigeria won't solve Nigeria's plight. He doesn't need to ban them. All he needs to do is to obey the constitution. The military has to has no business in in anything internally in the country. The constitution spells out clearly what their function is. Defense against external aggression. Nothing more. But why do they do otherwise? Why do they misbehave? They will tell you, oh, the police cannot no longer handle them. Police can no longer handle what now. The one that happened, the protest, that especially that of Lekki, what happened? Would they have been there for close to two weeks? They were not carrying arms. And all of a sudden, you are telling us, uh, once you went there to go and, oh, my goodness. That is why Nigeria is, 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 way, is, 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 is just the way it is. It's a deliberate act. And they are glorying in the suffering of the people. Nothing more. They are glory and they are so happy about it. You think they don't know. They understand perfectly well. So guys, let's hear your opinion and let's have a take on this.